hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer um, so today's video i want to cover this story i think i've covered a lot of similar stories but i'm not going to stop because i think the more we speak about it the more we create awareness that this is a big problem in our society and uh, a lot of people would know especially the importance of believing young girls when they come out and share their story because the fear a lot of them have is people not believing them or actions not being taken if they speak up let's create more awareness the more people realize that a lot of this is happening the more people can be on the lookout and be a protector of the next child so this is a a pastor assemblies of god pastor okay let me read it this one is from this one is from daily post it says court remands assemblies of god pastor for alleged uh, rap you know what i mean of a minor this girl is only 13. he says an abbas south uh, senior magistrate court on tuesday remanded 60 year old chukwe maker oji 60 year old 13 year old girl okay uh, at the correctional center over the alleged rap okay you know what i mean um of a minor he says oji a pastor of assemblies of god church is facing a one count charge of serially not be once he did it several times uh, rapping a you know what i mean a 13 year old girl that lived with him house girl i tell you guys where i got it from if you want to go read the full you can read it but let me grab like important points i want you guys to get he said she said that after all this third time she told his wife mercy who reportedly confronted him over the allegations right but the pastor denied it he says however he continued to do it and threatened to send her back to her parents in the village possibly she's from a very poor home and her parents cannot afford to care for god hmm. cannot afford to care for her so she knows that she's gone there for to stay let me put it like that okay she now said um okay he will send that back to the village uh, to the village if she should expose him and he said she said that the threat deterred her from telling her parents oh she said uh she she said that the threat deterred her from telling her parents who worship in another branch of the church another thing sometimes children may say my mother will not believe me my father will not believe me this pastor is that this is the pastor you see what happens this image they create that pastors are unquestionable touch not my anointed see so she was saying uh, her parents attended the same church. She didn't feel like she would be believed or she didn't feel, she felt like this past is a pastor is too big to be reported. Okay. Okay. So she couldn't tell her parents what she said. She said that this deterred her, okay, from telling her parents what she was passing through. Then she said after Oji's wife had gone to market on a particular day, he asked her for it, right? She refused on the ground that it was that time of the month. And then um, she said that Oji, the pastor, however, forced her to suck, okay, his thing. An act she described as nauseating to her. Imagine what that girl has gone through. Only 13. Ah. <laughs> Only 13. She said that because she could not satisfy him, he ordered her to cut the overgrown grass in their compound as a punishment so it was after that she went to school crying and then she said it was while i was crying that my school proprietor um, inquired as to why i was crying and i told him the truth you see as a teacher as someone have access to children even as a neighbor watch for signs for when a child needs your help you can be the one that will bring them out of a problem like this. Then when she told the, the man, okay, she said, he, she said that it was at that point that the police were invited into the matter. If the, if the school authority don't put them out, she will go back home to this problem. If somebody did not even ask her why she's cared enough to ask her why she's crying, you understand okay if you go down to read he actually says that in court he's denying it so the judge decided to ring his wife when they rang his wife the wife uh, initially denied and then later on she now said the girl told her she asked her husband her husband denied it and she left it at that 
the, the police prosecutor, Mrs. Mary Udoji, urged the court not to admit the defendant on bail in order to prevent him from further, okay, molesting the girl. The magistrate, who is the court, young, young Daniel, ordered that the girl be returned to her parents immediately after she was told that she had since been in the custody of the police. Imagine the innocent life, what she has been through. There's so many sad aspects of this. You know, there's something poverty does to people. There isn't something it does. Because I always say, like, without poverty, why would anybody... Why you go bomb picking, you have a child, you dash your child to somebody else because you cannot afford that child. No, people have children to have... Ch the reason people give birth to children is because they want to have children. So to not have the children and not give the child to somebody else is what poverty is causing. Poverty has put people in a, a lot of disadvantage in society. So... There are a lot of aspects to this story. One, as a wife, God forbid, I'm not saying it's going to happen in your home. When a child reports something like that to you, take it seriously. That's somebody's child. Take it seriously. For a young girl of 13 to accuse your husband, come on. She can't just wake up and accuse. It's a, let me tell you, that woman believed her. Because if she did not believe her, and the husband is denying, as a wife, she would have been angry with the girl and say, how can you lie against my husband like this? But she left it. Typical Nigerian way of save marriage, save everything, the, at all costs. At the expense of an innocent child. Where is the Christianity? She's the pastor's wife. Where is the Christianity in that? Where is the, You see, a lot of these churches, messages like this should be preached. Yes, God hates divorce, God hates this, God hates that, God hates whatever. You must, you must be married to that kid, of course. It's for better, it's for better for what? So they hold on to that aspect. They forget the other things that God, the other things that God hates. God definitely hates what that girl was going through. And I bet you that that wife was more concerned about saving her marriage, saving her family, because the man is her family, than to save that little. You know, than to save that little girl. That, well, tell me how. If the girl told you your husband did this, and your husband now denied it, and you believe your husband, that means the girl was lying. Yet, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't get angry and say, how dare you lie on my husband? Get out of my house. Right? She still kept her there. Because they prioritize other things. Can you, um, how do I say that? What would the world say? How can she come to church and... Everybody will know that her own husband is in jail for doing this. Everybody wants to paint the picture of a perfect marriage. There is no problem. Everything is going well. But a child's life is being damaged in the process. Let's be speaking the truth. Another thing I've always said. It's not the first time we've heard about pastors and house guests. We've heard one story here, one story there. But, but you know, it is only the, this pastor who knows. If it was a, mag a mega G.O. that is flying private jet or, you know, this lavish show has a lot of mansions and all this, you think they will pick him up. It no go happen. It no go happen. Justice, no, it's not, let me tell you, it's the good thing. I like the way this case has been handled. Beautiful. But I'm saying that until you touch the ones at the top, all the crayfish on the ground will continue all these things. When they see the consequences at the top, there will be a difference. I'm telling you, she been at this already they catch. Do you know how many stories we've shared recently? Last week I spoke about a pastor that a choir girl got pregnant and he's the father. He found that he decided to end the choir girl rather than face the consequences of his actions. This is what we're talking about. I just wanted to share that with you guys. As always, this is my opinion about it. And as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.